Welcome to JK McLeod. Today I'm working on a David Bradley 360 gear drive saw and going through its preliminaries. Initially it had no spark. Well, still has no spark at this point. But I think I've found the problem. A little splice there, and of course it's it's jam-packed full of stuff. That's the starter cover. I started on that one. And five pounds of dirt. This thing was packed pretty tight. I'm surprised it didn't overheat. Let me give it a clean up. Let me see if we can get some spark in this gal. I believe this is the part that was grounding out. And then we'll work on see if we can get this thing to puff over. Let me get this cleaned up first. I don't know why she had no spark. Opened it up, cleaned it out, made it nice and clean. Now if you notice, focus there. See there's an arrow with the indicating the, the direction of rotation. And if you notice on the engine here, it spins counterclockwise. I'm sorry, uh, it spins clockwise. But you can look at the starter. It's spinning counterclockwise. So it was actually spinning the motor backwards. Now what, I, what I'm assuming is that someone probably broke the spring, tried to get, you know, put the spring in, and uh, wind up winding it backwards. You know, and as you pull, it's pulling the engine in a counterclockwise while the engine's supposed to spin clockwise. I'll have to pull, out the, pull apart the starter and See if I can switch that spring around and get it going in the right direction. the starter, get it to spin in the proper direction. Get this out of the way. Get comfy. Spring is right there. Move that outside. And that's a little hook right there. It's supposed to hook onto here, not the other way around. The spring is backwards. So we have to take the this little C clip out here. And hopefully, uh, it's usually, usually they have the spring loaded. So I'm going to keep downward pressure on as you undo the clip. Hopefully it doesn't go flying, the part's unknown. There we go. And true to form, it feels spring-loaded. 
And there's the spring. Right there. Spring. Now, once I put it back together, you can see these, uh, these little poles here, what they do is they go inside a cup. As they go, they expand. There's a sharp edge and a dull edge. And hopefully, uh, if I put it back together and she just spins inside, I'll have to reverse these. But I'll leave them there for the moment. Let's see if I can get the spring out. Another catching. There we go. And there's the spring. Now we have to get this off here without having to turn into spaghetti. Let's see. Let me grab a Vice grip. So that locks nice and tight. sits in there a little better before it was kind of tilted to one side. Hopefully this isn't too mangled. Let's see what we got. Let's see if she grabs. Bring back. I don't know what's going on? 
on here? Well, after much cursing, I broke the old clip. Look, you know, if I get a stash of new ones, though it is a little thicker, I'm not quite sure if it fits in that slot properly. And I got what I got. Spring tension. I also did a preemptive strike and I reversed the pulls. It's a short pull. The spring didn't hold. Back to the drawing board. Well, I've got some trial and error and having to bend that spring that I didn't want to because it's already been broken. You just kind of bent the end around and hopefully it, it held, but it seems to be doing okay now. And it's spinning in the right direction. Hopefully it grabs the cup and I've got these little poles right. I should put it together. Huh. We'll know as soon as we pull. And we'll finish cleaning up this thing over here. Put it all back together and see what we get. Here we are, finally back together. One strange quirk I noticed though. If you try to put these four in while these are tight, it misses it, it's not lined up. So you have to loosen these Phillips, these four Phillips attach these four and then tighten these up. I guess because of the angle, it kind of bends it in a little bit. But, it's in, hopefully we got it. Let's see what we get. Originally they used electrical tape to splice the connection. A couple of layers of heat shrink tubing. And keep it up out of the way and prevent grounding out. Yeah, rather smoky. But here we are back together. David Bradley, aka Sears 360, gear driven saw. to do too much to it, a little bit of sleuthing. Uh, someone had put this starter in backwards, the spring in backwards and the poles in backwards. And I guess that they must have adapted this from a from a direct drive model. Because the it's supposed to the engine's supposed to spin clockwise and the starter was pulling everything counterclockwise. So it was never gonna start like that. Uh, the tank was pretty clean. Uh, the carburetor has to, it probably needs a diaphragm. You can hear how it slowly starts to come down. Diaphragm, a little bit of a cleaning. Proper air filter. I think this is probably with a Mac 15. Oy. Yep. Where it goes, the oil little oils. Mm, pretty decent looking saw. Let's see how it does in some wood once I clean the cob up. Thanks for watching.